Let's try now. I think I should be okay. Okay, I think I should be okay. Let me know, Berge. Okay, today what I'm going to do is that... Hi! Oh. What? Uh, it's in, we need the video screen back. Please and thanks. Okay. Okay. Here. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Bears. It, uh, Bears says it's okay. Thank you. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to make a Christmas red pepper, uh, uh, stuffed red pepper. Okay. What I'm going to show you guys here, I'm going to use for this our pressure cooker. Our pressure cooker, it's easy to use it, and in 20 minutes it will be ready our uh our mixture okay what okay i'm going to leave this one here for now so what i have here i have my onion in here and i have my garlic okay i'm going to chop it to start with as you know as you know Nice and slow for the first couple. Yeah. Because I did not cut the... I put them full in there, that's why. It's okay, you could cut it in half, you could cut it in quarter, but I know that it will work. It will work. Okay. I like lots of parsley vegetables in my uh... okay I got it I got it I'm busy okay so this is done so far and I have my parsley done you could even do a nice parsley salad with this <laughs> this is done and I'm going to put in there a tomato tomato paste tomato juice in there to mix it up and while you're doing that we'll say hi to Saro Asadurian hi Saro how's the LA doing and as you could see this is done I'm going to add nice uh, nice chunk of uh, cinnamon as you could see it's our it's so this is like a Christmassy stuffed pepper 
and trust me I did it with meat it tastes so good and now I'm doing it with olive oil and then I'm going to put one cup of olive oil Voila. Olive oil is there too. And then I'm going to put a two tablespoon of pomegranate molasses. Approximately. Yeah. Okay. One more thing. My lemons, 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 lime. And my, yeah, I know. Uh, one more thing. Mint. And a little bit of mint, dry mint. Yes. As you could see, we do use a lot of mint. We do use a lot of, and before I squeeze my, my lemon, lime, I'm going to zest it and put it in. gives a different um, smell and taste the uh, zest you know it's more lemony limey as you could see my it's in there yeah and then I'm just use this you could take this away too okay I just wanted you guys to see that here this tip this tip has to touch this tip that's the rule of thumb then we squeeze it that's one look at all that juice yeah it comes everything out Okay, so now we need a little bit of salt and voila. I am going to put my gloves on that I could like to use my hands. It's easier to use your hands. Okay. Okie dokie. Now that we have all the ingredients in, let's mix it all together nicely. And Donald, can you get me my pressure cooker here, please? Okay, just a moment. Thank you. Next to me. Next to you. Hey. hey! Just put it in that I could start stuffing. In September, I did freeze my bell peppers because they were unspecial. Whatever I had nicely, I left it out and froze it. Today, I'm going to use some of it to do my stuffed peppers. Okay, I got you. See, this is nicely done as you could see the pl uh, plum the see as you could see still frozen I have the tops here I, I don't throw anything out as you know I know you could do uh, half a cup, everything, but today I, I did a whole. I said even if there is extra rice, I could cook it 
and eat it without the pepper inside there. Yeah. As you could see. So the key for the peppers is that you took advantage of when they were... On special, harvest time. Yeah. Yes. And yes. then put them in some of our uh, freezer containers. Yes. Yes. And then today I'm using it. Uh, five of them. The other day when I did with the meat, I, I used the cabbage as well too. I'm going to put those here, the tops, and then fill it up there. The rest of my stuffed, I know I did make it a lot, the rice, but it's okay. It's a holiday and you could eat it as a rice, ricey taste. It smells so, so good. Okie dokie. Okay, let me take this out. My mom always did like this. Soda wash the dish uh, water and fill it up. This is you add one more cup. So, because we put in one cup of... Uh, one cup of, uh, let me clean it. One cup of rice, that means that we have to have a two cup of capacity of, uh, capacity of water. So I'm going to close it like this and then lock it. Voila, it's done. I'm going to put it in microwave for 20 minutes. Meanwhile, we can say hi to Karen Peacock. We can also say hi to Lucy Abajan. Hello, everyone. So, now, let me clean my area. This is our microwave, um, microfiber towels, which is very, very nice to use it all the time. Okay, here. Today I'm going to do one appetizer. In fact, I'm going to do two appetizers. One of them, it's interesting that we grew up with uh, this kind of appetizer, but you know what? I just twist it for, uh, for Christmassy. What do you need is your small chopper will do everything. It's very easy. I have my garlic in there. Surprise. Yeah, and then, voila, it's done. Then, I know, I'm going to put it here. This is a very, very, very easy recipe. Yes. I do love to use our spreader as a place of spatula sometimes. It's very nice to clean it and put it in. It gives a... Then I'm going to use one chopper. I did measure this up. Carrots. I cut them in small pieces. The reason I did like this that I cut it ahead that I could show you that it's one. And you'll do it on a flat surface. I know, I know, don't worry. Nice and slow first time. Okay. I do one more time, one more spin that uh, you know, the rest of the Chopper carrots. 
it is the same size everything is the same size then I'm going to add a cucumber one cup those are uh, small cucumbers you know what I know I'm going to do one I know it's the size one two okay that it will go in nicely I will not have hard time Didn't, it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to have one full of yogurt. Uh, full of uh, what do you call it? Our power chef. You could have a Greek yogurt, plain yogurt, okay? And then this, you just mix it there. Isn't this an easy breezy? Let's not forget the mint. Dry mint. And salt. As you could see, how many times I use my chopper. See, now it is all ready. My Christmassy. A dip this is voila it's ready to go that is done and meanwhile let's say hi to Carmen ok Oknayan hi Carmen how are you my friend how's Lebanon doing okay my next one is a cranberry sauce okay the cranberry sauce see I even prepared it here some uh, carrot sticks to taste it as well so cranberry sauce this one i have to read the recipe okay it is uh, we need onion uh-huh oh, i know i know i realize it i realize it sorry okay it's done there's there's a pick at the bottom of the power chef. Yes. That you have to line up the uh, the cutter. Yes. To make it work. So I just chopped it a little bit right now, and then it's a one cup. Oh, here I even have it. My vegetable chips for. And then I wanted to add uh, one bag of cranberries. Okay. I know it's the season. And it's nice. I'm going to leave this one here. Check this out. Okay? 
I'm going to cut it more. It's coming up more the more I add it up. So then I'm going to add, it says uh, fresh mint, but I don't have fresh mint. I have um, dry mint. So two tablespoons of mint. One, two. And then I have uh, mint and I have a um, quarter cup of sugar I'm trying to follow step by step okay uh, sugar uh, vinegar two tablespoon apple, this, apple this is rice vinegar Rice vinegar, oh, it's not even open. Uh, you could have a rice vinegar, you could have it um, apple cider vinegar, depends what, what you like. I had this, I could use it. Okay, and I'm going to chop this again. What was it this? No. Don't chop it. It's okay, it doesn't matter, it works both of them. So, so far this is it what how it looks. I'm going to put it in uh, in here. I'm going to add other stuff too. A week or two in the fridge and then you could you know you don't have to buy any kind of a so I'm going to add in here two green onions in fact it says a quarter cup of green onions that will be there and it says three jalapenos but I'm going to put only two. The reason why is that I don't want it to, to have it very, very spicy. And I'm going to core it here. I do have a core here that you could, it's a Tupperware. It's nice to core. I'm going to take the, the seeds out. And we'll say hi to Vivian Matosian. Hi Vivian, how are you my friend? Okay, as you could see, I, I, I took as much as seeds as possible out and put it in. And then I just core it. Okay, I have this here, and then I'm going to chop this. Okie dokie, let me see. I have jalapeno, I have a, an onion, I have a green onion, I have a, a cilantro. Okay, it says cilantro here. Okay, quarter cup. I'm going to use a parsley. I'm not a... Uh, so, uh, cilantro person but I love parsley that's why I have my chopped parsley here quarter of a cup of chopped parsley 
Oh my gosh, it smells too peppery. <coughs> okay. And then I have a, a oh, and one tablespoon of honey. Honey. Let's not forget honey. This is a um, from my sister's area, honey. One tablespoon. This is a little bit less. Let me try to. No. Okay, a little bit more. Okay. Okie dokie. The honey's there too. Uh, and uh, salt. And black pepper if I need to. And the lime. Again. Let's put our lime again. As you realize it. I love the zest. And let's say hi to Melissa Murray. Hi, Melissa. How are you? I hope you're enjoying it. Opala. Okay. See, as you could see, the uh, grind. And then I have my, my lime, one lime. As I told you, guys, this edge meets this edge. Yes. This is done. Okie dokie. This is done as well. This is a cranberry, cranberry sauce with honey and jalapeno. And like I said, you could use it um, cilantro or you could use it parsley. I use parsley. All depends what you like. wash it and one thing I just wanted to show you guys when you are uh, washing your uh, power chef have something uh, small to open it up like this and wash it inside there is there will be no bacteria in there yes you could open this okay voila Check this out. Nice and uh, colorful uh, taste. Uh, looks, let me. This is our vegetable dip uh, mm -hmm. chips. Let me taste it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Amazing. Mm. It's not that much hot. No. Oh, the kick is coming afterwards. Mm. Okay, let me try to wrap it up. So today we did do, oh, we didn't check the eggs. Oh, breakfast. We have a breakfast. Check it out. You have a poached egg in there with cooked uh, 
zucchini and that is done breakfast is done then we have our appetizer yes our appetizers we have it cranberry jalapeno and then we have it yogurt tzatziki as you could see both of them nice and colorful Christmassy colors and you could have it with chips you could have it you want it to be a little bit nice have it with the, some vegetables there and then uh, our in four minutes our uh, stuffed um, pepper will be ready I will put a picture on and meanwhile I just wanted to come and tell you guys have a safe Merry Christmas and I just wanted to come and wish everybody a good healthy stay home and if you are still looking for some gifts I just received today I'm so excited let me show you this let me come this way check this out who doesn't want it to be a kid this is just brand new I just received it let's see the artwork a little closer see see they are all frozen characters I uh, and they check it out to two sisters olive and I don't know his name and then we have it here cake taker two with the frozen ones as well so those are the new products for kids it just arrived and we do have other products as well too and as you could see today I used it our breakfast maker to make it the breakfast and then I used it our power chef and then I used it I'm still using it our pressure cooker our pressure cooker is nice and locked and here there is this silicone rubber that it protects it and as as you guys know I do use it a lot you could do roast in there you could do soup and then you fill it up up to here the maximum that the pressure will come up afterwards when the uh, you lock it this this arrow meets this arrow and then lock it it's locked nicely then you just lock it again because this part there is a uh, open air for safety reason Papa were made it it's locked so when this is up and this is up what happens to it is that that means that they have to be closed okay and this is our pressure cooker which is very very helpful and if you need any help any assistance we still do Tupperware party as well too and, uh, and not, not necessarily in person right now unfortunately no, but, but on a Facebook you know you get a lot of uh, uh, training from me and I'm here to help you and uh, yeah this is it oh my god this is so good I don't think it will last until Christmas this one I guess I have to make another one so where are we one minute more and uh, like I said I just wanted to bring it up just for you guys to hear it Ooh. can you hear it see the pressure is coming off and then you could see the red that red uh, thing is up that means that the pressure is building there I cannot open it I'm going to continue to So that is, we need it to rest. At least it takes another five minutes to rest that that power, it comes down. So, meanwhile, have a fantastic year. And, uh, no, I'm coming next Wednesday. The year is not over. We have to close it next Wednesday with the bang. The bang. Okay, a bang. <laughs> yeah. You know, there was a, a chef who used, uh, used to do bang. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, okay, guys, everyone, thank you for watching. I love you all and miss you all and stay home, stay safe. My name is Ruth and my webpage is rudd.ca. Have a fantastic day. Bye now.